Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're following the channel you realize that I'm reading a lot of books and then I put um, a summary of the book or my review on the book and the channel and most of them are uh, like a personal review this is what I understand for the books and uh, reading those books and what I learned from reading those books and then um, I'm just doing the, the same things as well for, for probably this year as well. So I, I just wanted to do like a, create a recap video about what did I learn in 2019 by reading about 14 books. And most of them were self-development and self-help books. However, I just wanted to share what I learned because uh, that would be a, a quick recap for myself. I can just uh, visit, the, uh, view the video like or look at the video sometimes. And also maybe some of you would be interested as well so let's just go through some of them but before jumping there I just need to mention a few things first thing first is it's absolutely what I learned was absolutely okay to not finish a book if you don't enjoy reading a book or if you think it's kind of against of your ideas or what you believe or what you think then just Leave it. You don't have to finish it. I mean, this is one of the things I did in 2019. And some of the books I read, I didn't like them at all. I didn't just find it interesting or the, 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 the text wasn't easy to understand or it was complicated in many ways. And I, unfortunately, at some points at the beginning, I didn't. I just continued reading it even though I was not even enjoying it. And it was just making the whole process much longer. So I just think if you don't enjoy reading the book, a book just let it go move to the next book because if you enjoy reading book you can finish it quicker you're gonna learn it you're gonna remember and all you think is positive around that book and so it's gonna give you like a better result next thing is I have tried reading book in a different formats uh, one of them was Kindle paper books and audible and what I really learned through all of this process uh, Kindle and Audible was my first experience this year and I realized that uh, I still believe like if I want to learn something more deeply or if I want to come back to it more just look at my notes I would find it much easier if I'm reading like a uh, paper book and uh, then I use like a Kindle and if like this if it is like more like story or it's you know you can follow the story from beginning to the end of the book then probably I would go for audible or because in audible yes you can make note people say a lot of good things about it and yes while you're walking while you're running but I think when it comes to the self-development book or when it comes to the uh, self-help book you need to really think about some sentences, you really need to think about ideas, you need to pause, you need to make notes. And I didn't really find it easy to use Audible for this format. For Kindle it was a bit easier, but again, yes, you may just highlight some, just some text in the book, but the reality is, I mean, I didn't really come back to any of them because it wasn't that easy. I needed to just write down something and it was easier if I was using like a paper book. So that was just another like things to consider when I was doing this, uh, when I was reading books this year. And the next thing is so many books, so little time. So I, by reading one book, I realized that I need to read three, four, five more books. And then my, uh, like I use uh, Goodreads website and I just add the, those books I want to read and my want to read list book is growing every day and I just have limited time to read like some of them. So I should be very careful about choosing books, especially those who I enjoy, those who I want to focus on more. Obviously you're gonna learn a lot of things by reading different books, but you have limited time. So you need to choose those books you are, you, you, you want to read more or you want to, you are enjoying reading, you enjoy reading those books. So uh, we have limited time, so you need to be really careful by just choosing books. Obviously, yes, there are like a lot of a lot of good things about every book, but this is what I'm gonna do from this year. But let's just dive in and find out. Uh, let's just talk about uh, those things or those takeaway I have from 2019 and reading those books. The first thing I learned was living in a present, living 
at no in a current moment because living in a current moment just help us to uh, to enjoy the, the the place the atmosphere the place we are enjoying that moment more so we don't need to just be here but think about future or think about past and then by doing all of these things we are going to ruin and waste the current moment so living in the present uh, was one of the key and the biggest lesson I've got in 2019 by reading a lot of books so uh, if you are depressed you're living in a past if you are anxious you're living in the future and if you are at peace then you are living at present I just wanted to add this sentence because I really enjoy uh, like I, I like this sentence and I just thought okay I need to add it here why not the next thing is let it go and be free so uh, there are a lot of occasions in the, in a life that we are going to have like difficult time we're going to be angry we're going to be sad and I think one of the question is we need to ask all the time any anything happened to us is does it worth it and if the answer is no definitely move on and by moving on let it go and then what you're gonna have is freedom and by freedom you will be happier so just let it go and you'll be free the next thing is communication one of the probably key things I'm going to focus on in 2020 is to communicate much better because the communication is a skill and if you master this skill you're gonna just achieve a lot of goals a lot of these things we do is through communications because we're living with different people we are an individual in a society so we need to talk we need to communicate with a lot of people it doesn't mean uh, it should be just always verbal we can just write an email this is a communication body language is another type of communication and if we just try to improve all of these things we can send a better message or quicker or in a more efficient way in a sort of like a lot of misunderstanding a lot of, a lot of these uh, like wrong messages we are sending which we not really intend to send those messages but because we're not good at sending these messages or we're not good at the communication then we do these mistakes so one of the key things I'm going to focus on in this year would be communication because I realize that communication is very important and you need this skill if you want to be like a better person or more successful the next thing is the art of saying no so obviously I put the book um, review with the same title in the pay in a, in a channel but the art of saying no because saying no bring freedom bring a lot of simplicity by saying no then you are going to say for those things which matter the most and remember whenever you say yes you are saying no to different or maybe uh, more important things so the art of saying no if you're a master of saying no you will have a lot of times in your life you're going to achieve a lot of good things and you are going to just you're going to make a lot of good things because no saying no is an art is not easy you might think okay i can say no to everything but there are times there are families or good friends they're asking you something which is against of your idea or you have to do different things and this this moment if you are not brave enough or if you're not confident enough to say no then it can cause a lot of problems so the other thing which i learned was saying no in a more efficient way without making anyone angry or upset or like you know just sending the wrong message so this is the next thing the next message through the books i read was happiness is living the life you want not what anyone else wants you to do a lot of us are living or doing a lot of things because other people expect us to do like it's coming from family it's coming from work it's coming from friends society neighborhood and a lot of these things are not really what we want and i think you should be brave if you want to live your life because you're going to receive a lot of judgment you're going to receive a lot of negative thoughts but at the end of the day I think the true happiness is living the life you want not what other people expect you to do and I think through reading these books I, which I read this, this year I realized that like there was like one of these messages which probably most of them were just talking about it from different language from different point of view it was living the life you want enjoying the life you want because it should be our decision not like someone else make decision for us and then we just follow blindly those those patterns and those rules for the life of course be yourself everyone else already taken 
Oscar Wilde says this one, which I like it so much. Everyone else has been taken, so just try to be yourself because then you will be a unique character. You will be like another person or somebody because you're different from everyone else. You don't need to copy anyone else. And at the end of the day, to be honest, no one really care if you are like uh, copying someone or like doing something. Just try to be yourself. People will get used to it. People will accept it and people will understand it at some point. The next thing I learned through reading these books was that simplicity is the key in many cases. So make sure your goals, your plans, or the way you talk and everything is simple, is clear. Because if it is simple and it's clear, everybody understands it. If it's simple and clear, you are going to understand it better. You know what is the answer if something's happened because you already talk about it to yourself. You already make it clear for yourself. And this is very important. To make it clear, to make it simple, you are going, when it's clear and simple, you are going to make it more achievable and more understandable for yourself, for others, for whoever is involved in this decision or in this conversation or the goal and everything. So the simplicity is very important and we should never forget it. If you make it very complicated, you might just give up after doing it a few times. But if it is simple, if it is straightforward, this is going to help so much. The next thing which I learned through reading these books, these books was uh, uh, time. So time is the most important or the most valuable thing asset we all have, and most of us are wasting it. I am a guilty of I'm like I'm wasting a lot of times, and probably everyone else is wasting a lot of times. But I learned that time is the most valuable things, and we are not aware of it until we lose it or we really need it, but it's too late. So I realized that. I should be more careful about my times, I should be more careful about what I do. Uh, obviously, well, I'm hoping one day I get close to more efficient, or like, I don't know, 90%, 80% efficient during my whole day. But I think moving through that direction would just solve a lot of problems because the more you realize that you have limited time in a day and then and you realize, you really visualize these times and you really just put it on a board, on a paper and then see what you do is going to help you to understand where is your like time, like those limited times you have are assigned to. For example, uh, one of the technique is just to monitor your times uh, by writing down whatever you do. Uh, and if most of us are using mobile phone these days, and I think it just it's easy to just get lost in a mobile with different applications. I'm not here like to give you advice, but what I, one of the thing I do is I track down every applications I use by like other applications, which is going to just tell you how much how much time you spend on a YouTube, how much time you spend on like uh, browser and Instagram, in WhatsApp and other applications, and then you, at the end of the like month, you're going to have like or if, even week or even day, you're going to have like a very good report on time you spent on these applications and you realize that, okay, I spent this much of time on this application and I don't really need this application because I thought that would be fun to have it now, I just get addicted or I'm spending a lot of time on it. So monitoring time is very important and I think this is what, uh, yes, probably everybody knows, but this is one of the areas I it get very clear to me this year and I'm going to uh, by reading those books and I'm going to just focus on it more and be more careful about like the time I have over like 24 hours. The next thing is, is it's okay to be a beginner because as a beginner we should be able to do a lot of mistakes, we shouldn't be embarrassed, we shouldn't be like you know feeling bad because everyone at some point in their life they have been beginner because uh, I think if you like if you have skills on something, just remember the first day you start that the specific task or that subject. You knew like from the beginning, you don't know a lot of things, and you take everything step by step. So it's absolutely fine to be a beginner because this is the first step, and we should know that. The journey of thousand miles begin with one single step. So every step after another step will just get us to that long journey and we're gonna to get to our goal and destination. There is nothing worth like doing shortcuts or a lot of things because you need to spend time, you need to practice and then you will be master after a while. So the next thing is uh, talking and sharing the ideas. Through reading these books, I realized that one of the key things all of these self-help book, self books are talking about are just sharing the ideas. And I think it would be very interesting and it would be like a recap for yourself 
to just talk about what you learned, to talk about what the book you're reading. And I just noticed that a lot of people are reading books like in my friendship or in my circle, but they're not talking about it. I don't know why, but I just found it, it's, it's very nice and it's very like, it, it's like sharing ideas. Uh, I might read a sentence and get different point, idea and then someone else read exactly the same sentence and they, they understand something different. And I think it would be very helpful and I do it because I, I think it's, it's valuable even if no one does it. I still try to like share and talk about whatever I learn, whatever I read, whatever I just do because why not? I mean, it, it's fun and I don't have any problem by talking about those stuff. And the, the, one of the last thing is there are a lot of tricks, tips and uh, techniques in these books. And I realized that not all of them are for everyone because you might just understand uh, doing this, this technique in a self-help books or like journaling or waking up early or I don't know. There are a lot of them, tons of them. Not all of them are for everyone because you might be interested in this one and the other one doesn't even work for you. You just, uh, the other one which is waking up early is not going to work at all because I don't know, for any reason, or eating breakfast or like workout in the morning, maybe you can do the workout in the evening. So I realized that a lot of these things are just commercial or a lot of people are just talking about it for the sake of talking. And you see a lot of these things on YouTube, you see a lot of these things on a book. And I realized that, okay, there are a lot of them. Uh, you need to see which one is right for you. You cannot like copy someone else and just be like them because Next to that, like one routine they do, there are hundreds of hundreds of other things they, they do over the like, I don't know, over the course of the day or in the like last year or the year before. Now by doing those small things, they might achieve a lot more. So you should just be aware of what you want to do, what you enjoy doing it. Because at the end of the day, you want to do something you enjoy. You don't want to just make your life like miserable or... Uh, you do a lot of these things which you don't enjoy at all. So this is one thing. And there is like one more thing which is not even related to this one. But I just want to say it because I like to say it. And this is this sentence. Without music, life would be a mistake. I don't think it is related. But I just wanted to talk about it. Why not? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching this video and I think in the next year I'm going also to put uh, more videos around like books and uh, uh, reviews and summary and my ideas about this uh, this subject on a channel. Feel free to just to let me know like if, if you want to, uh, if you want us to talk about something else just uh, leave a comment and like always don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it's going to affect on a uh, YouTube algorithm and yes this is it and uh, please just let me know if you think this uh, video was uh, like cheesy because everybody makes a video about oh what did I learn in 2019 what did I do in this year 10 different things I learned in this year I don't care and uh, yeah this I just wanted to make this video not just to give anyone any advice because that's not my job i even don't want you to follow me on like some of those advices because they work for me it might not work for you at all do whatever is right for you and see where you get at so thank you so much and i'll see you next time